and welcome to my channel. So this video is going to be like on the flat lay perspective. So I have painted my nails very quite poorly. I suck at painting my nails. I'm not ambidextrous at all. And my hands are kind of purple stained from doing a DIY at the youth group I volunteer for. We're doing tie dyeing. So I have um, purple and blue stained hands, which is uh, nice and fun. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a harness using elastic o-rings, cotton and a pair of scissors. So let's get into it shall we? So first off you might be somewhere that's kind of warm because you're going to need to be like in your bra or naked if you don't want to wear a bra with this um, harness. So to put the purpose of today's video and to not stay monetized but to not be age restricted because I'm not even monetized. I'm going to be wearing a tank top to show you guys how to measure this on your body. So when making a harness you kind of have to decide what kind of style you want to go for. For this one I want to go around the neck and kind of make it a simple triangular over the breast kind of a style. So I'm going to first take my elastic out. I have five metres of plain black stretchy elastic, one inch thick, I got it on eBay. Now you guys can see this rather very unflattering angle of me. Not the best angle in the world, but we're going to have to go with it. So I'm going to take my elastic and it's still attached to my board. I want to make it attached to the waist for the underside, so I'm going to measure it just under my boobs and my bra with a little bit extra for seam allowance. Just there, I'm going to hold it there. So mine is this long. And I'm going to cut it. And this is going to go around my neck. And then to here. Then my next strap I want to go from just above my boob to the centre so it's there cut that do the same again final part you need for this is wrap it around your back and your boobs or chest and then overlap it the tiniest bit and just cut it there and I still have plenty of elastic left I probably used two meters I bought 5 meter just in case I wanted to make a more elaborate one, but I'll save this for another DIY project. Now I have my pieces of elastic cut, I'm going to take a lighter and just run it along the edges of... For this design, I want to have a o-ring on the centre, like that. I'm going to get my needle and thread, my needle is pre-threaded because I do a lot of DIYs using black cotton. Make sure you have a knot tied in the end, which I do. And I'm gonna take one side, overlap it, and just crudely stitch it into place. It now I have the bottom piece sewn together, I am going to want to attach the neck piece. And to do this, I'm gonna need to put this on my body and then just figure out where I want to attach it. Once again, a highly unflattering angle. So I've just put this around my midsection and I'm going to take the neck strap, put that around my neck, then kind of just tug it a little bit. So now I have measured it, I'm just going to place it down, measure it from my palm and it's about here. And because I have it inside out, I can just go ahead and sew that straight on to there. So to get this matching perfect on each side, I'm just going to fold it, not in half because you can't because there is like a metal ring in the way but sort of in half and then I'm going to match up the two points on each side and sew it into place. So now I've got both sides sewn, so I'll have to put this back on and figure out where I want the boob breast area things to go. So I've tried on the harness again and I've used the same method as I did to figure out how this goes to place where this is meant to go and I partially sewed it on before I realised I actually hadn't been filming. So I used my hand method and I realised that it needs to go here and I started sewing it on there and this end will just simply go into this and be sewn on in the same manner as we did these and I'm going to put that on the other side as well. So I've just finished sewing the booby parts and the light got so dark that I had to turn my overhead like room light on and it's created some really weird shadows and it's got like a yellow tint to it so everything's going to look yellow toned rather than more cool toned. I'm sorry but it is done and I'm going to try it on and show you how it did. So guys don't forget to like, comment and subscribe 
and hit the notification bell so you're notified. And I do post twice a week on Saturdays and Tuesdays, 8pm GMT. So safe, stay dark, and I'll see you next time. Bye!